Hey everyone, James with TFB TV coming to you from the SHOT Show 2024. I'm at the Yankee Hill and Machine booth. I'm with Kevin and I, I always love Yankee Hill stuff. Thank you. I think that you guys are really, I, I want to say understated or underappreciated <laughs> yep. in the community. I have a Yankee Hill, like an old school, like the Phantom 30 sure. Cal. Sure. And I absolutely love it, use it in TFB TV videos all the time. So I saw you guys and I figured I'd seize on the opportunity yeah. to stop by and find out what's going on. And I know you guys have something new because our editor, Pete, won't shut up about it. <laughs> Tell us about it. Yeah, so we actually, for 2020, we have uh, four new suppressors that we're showing off. We have the, uh, the Resonator K, um, which was released at the beginning of December. It's a uh, just under a five inch long can. It's rated for 300 wind mag, um, full auto rated. It's 17-4 stainless steel with ink and all blast baffles. It uh, features kind of the industry standard engine 3 h 24 in the back of it, so it can take our mounting interface as well as a plethora of other manufacturers. Um, what we have installed in the back of it is our new Curz kit. Uh, basically, it takes the Phantom adapter and shaves off just under three quarters of an inches in length, um, so you can really make it much more compact. Mm -hmm. um, another new can that we're excited about that people have been asking for from us for a while is our R9 suppressor. It's a nine millimeter board suppressor. Um, it was designed primarily for the subgun cans, um, but it uh, also works on 308 Winchester. Um, you can shoot your 556 through it as well. Um, again, it's got the same inch and three-eighths 24 interface in the back, so you can put a booster on the back of it, run it in your handgun if you want as well. Um, it's actually a really good can for, say, a bolt action hunting rifle. Um, doesn't really increase too much length on the end of the gun, but it's still hearing safe in the shooter's ear. Uh, nice thing about this, retail is 449. Oh, yeah. I mean, then that's the thing is you guys, everything you make, not only is it effective, but it's affordable. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's really kind of been our, our motto, you know, make a, a great product at an affordable price. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then take us to the next one. Yeah. So this is our Nitro N2O. Uh, in 2016, we released the Nitro, but it was a stainless steel 308 can. We re revamped it for 2020. It's 100% titanium. Feel the weight on that. Oh, my gosh, it's yeah. 10 ounces in that configuration. You can also configure the length on it. You can bring it uh, down to six and a half ounces. Oh, I see. Yeah, there you go. I like this. And you're seeing a lot of manufacturers do this. I'm glad to see you guys doing it yeah. too. I can just replace my end cap. Exactly. You know, I'm good to go like this. Yep, that's correct. That again is rated for 308 Winchester and small. I can't believe that. You can run your this lightweight. Are the uh, baffles, uh, are they steel or titanium also? The entire product is 100% titanium other than the muzzle cap. The muzzle cap is actually aluminum. Okay. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Uh, and then we've got, you said four, we've got one yep. more, right, by my yep. count. So the new one, the other one is our turbo integral top end. Um, so what we did is we essentially took a 10 and a half inch 5x6 uh, barrel, mm -hmm. pin and welded a turbo T2 onto it to get your overall length of 16 inches. So you're talking one stamp one instead stamp. of two. Exactly. Um, the nice thing about this is it's a complete package. It's ready to go, less the optics. Mm -hmm. uh, retail on this is uh, 1415. And one of the nice features we also did is we have a specialized gas block on it that has a reduced gas port, so it reduces the cyclic rate of the firearm. It's really good for LE agencies that run full autos. Mm -hmm. You have a really nice controlled cyclic rate of the gun, and it also reduces any blowback going into the shooter's face as well. Are you going to have different options for the handguard, or is it going to come? This is kind of you know how it is for now. Um, it's one of those things, you know, we're open to customer feedback. Because you guys make a, a ton oh, yeah, of handguards, exactly. so it's like you could. I, I would think you could offer this with like a multitude of right. handguard yeah, options. Yeah, and it's one of those things where people ask for it, we're not going to say it. no. Right, right, exactly. You know? uh, yeah, so pricing and availability on everything. You already talked about the upper, but what about these guys? Yep. So the, the Resonator K, these are already shipping. They were released back in December. Um, we've already sent out a thousand of them to, uh, to dealers. Um, the R9, uh, we're telling people we're hoping for mid-year. Um, I think it's going to be before that, but we're telling people that. Um, and then on the N2O, um, we're thinking that's probably going to be right around the, the August mark. Okay, yep. and what's MSRP on these? So MSRP on the Resonator K is, uh, I believe, $599. MSRP on the R9 is $449. MSRP on the Nitro N2O, and remember it's all titanium. MSRP on that is $1250. And on the turbo top end, MSRP is uh, 1415 Now, 
finally, uh, one other question. You were talking, what do you call the new interface for the mounting? So we're just calling it the KERS kit. The suppressor industry has adopted KERS for the right, for sure. short. Yep, so we, rather than just coming up with anything fancy, we just went with it being the KERS kit. But you were talking about adaptability with like uh, third party mounts, yep. you know, like yep. uh, it, your competitors, this will work like with their. Correct. Can you name some names? Like what kind of compatibility can Yeah, we so have? this will go in like the, one of the popular ones is the Silent Co Harvester. Yes. Um, you know, the big bore, it has the same inch and three inch 24 thread, so that'll take it. Uh, the uh, the uh, Dead Air Nomad does. Um, I believe the Q, uh, I believe theirs have that on it too. Um, so there's quite a few guys that are doing it. Right, so you can buy one of these even if you have, you're, you're not committed to the Yankee Hill QD mounting yep. system. Exactly. Well, this is really exciting stuff, Kevin. Thank you guys so much for yeah. talking to Thank me on camera. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to bring you more from Shot 2020.